We're going to discuss how to illustrate a normal random variable and its characteristics. A normal random variable is a continuous random variable that follows the normal distribution with mean and standard deviation. The symbol for mean is just like a resemblance of u or looks like a letter u while the standard deviation is a sigma in lower case. The mean is the average of all the data in the distribution, while the standard deviation is a measure of how far the data is in relation to the mean. The normal distribution is often called the bell curve because the graph of its probability density looks like a bell. We can say that the data is normally distributed when, number one, the mean, including the median and the mode, lies at the center of the distribution. Number two, the distribution is symmetrical about the mean. 50% of all data points are above and 50% are below the mean. Number three, the distribution includes 100% of the data. So the area under this curve is 1. And number 4, the two tails extends indefinitely in both directions, coming closer and closer to the horizontal axis but never touching it. Using the empirical rule as shown in the figure, 68.27% of all the data points are within one standard deviation from the mean from u minus sigma to u plus sigma 95.45 percent of all the data points are within two standard deviation from the mean from u minus two sigma to u plus two sigma 99.73% of all the data points are within 3 standard deviation from the mean. From u minus 3 sigma to u plus 3 sigma. Let's have an example. The average score of the students in a quiz is 9 with a standard deviation of 3. So our mean is 9 is placed at the center of the normal curve. Then u plus sigma is 9 plus 3 equals 12. u minus sigma that is 9 minus 3 is 6. u plus 2 sigma that is 9 plus 6 15. u minus 2 sigma is 9 minus 6 is Three. U plus 3 sigma is 9 plus 9, which is 18. And U minus 3 sigma is 9 minus 9, which is 0. The normal distribution shows that 68.27% scored between 6 to 12, and 95.45% scored between 3 to 12. 15. We have here the figure of the normal curve divided into intervals with their corresponding percentage. Let us start from the left. Less than negative 3 sigma is 0.14%. From negative 3 sigma to negative 2 sigma is 2.14%. From negative 2 sigma to negative 1 sigma is 13.585%. From negative 1 sigma to the mean or u is 34.135%. From the mean or u to 1 sigma is 34.135%. From 1 sigma to 2 sigma is 13.585%. From 2 sigma to 3 sigma is 
2.14% and greater than 3 sigma is 0.14% and if you are going to add all the percentages the sum is 100% now half of this normal curve is 50% located at the center which is also the mean from negative 1 sigma to 1 sigma is 68.27% from negative 2 sigma to 2 sigma is 95.45% and from negative 3 sigma to 3 sigma is 99.73% and less than negative 3 sigma plus greater than 3 sigma is equal to 0.28 percent let us have an example the heights of 100 volleyball players are normally distributed with a mean of 168 centimeters and a standard deviation of 2 centimeters so from our given situation our mean is 168 one standard deviation to the right of the mean is 170. One standard deviation to the left of the mean is 166. Two standard deviation to the right of the mean is 172. Two standard deviation to the left of the mean is 164. Three standard deviation to the right of the mean is 174. And three standard deviation to the left of the mean is 162. Now, let us answer some of the questions that can be raised from our given situation. Say, what percent of the volleyball players display a height between 166 centimeters and 170 centimeters? So, from the height of 166 centimeters to 170 centimeters, the corresponding percentage is 68.27% We're just going to add 34.135% and 34.135% So the sum is 68.27% Next What percent of the volleyball players display a height between 170 centimeters and 172 centimeters so from the height of 170 centimeters to 172 centimeters the corresponding percentage is 13.585 percent next what percent of the volleyball players display a height less than 170 centimeters meaning from the height of 100 centimeters and below so we're going to add all the percentage from 0 0.14 percent plus 2.14 percent plus 13.585 percent plus 34.135 percent plus 34.135 percent is equal to 84.135% or you may just add 50% which is the percentage corresponds to half the normal curve and 34.135% next what percent of the volleyball players display a height greater than 172 centimeters so greater than 172 centimeters meaning the percentage to the right of 172 centimeters and that is 2.14 percent plus 0 0.14 percent which is equal to 2.28 percent 